Check this out guys, we are back on the pool project and it's got some water in it. Plan for today is starting on the backfield. So check that out. The pool is definitely filling up with water and it's looking absolutely awesome. This is my first time doing any excavating work for a pool. So it's been a little bit of a learning experience. And Leonard, the homeowner, is actually installing the pool himself. And it's his, his first go around. And from what I can tell, it looks absolutely awesome slash fantastic. So our goal for today is backfill. According to the destruction manual on this thing, you're not supposed to have the backfill or the water less than a foot from each other. So as this thing fills up, we basically need to add dirt and rock around there. So Aaron's bringing dirt up here. We'll get this compacted in. It'll eventually get concrete on it. Got a load of rock. We'll actually have rock up against the pool. And as we backfill, he'll continue to fill this up. So uh, Matt is taking off down over the hill with Bubba Dump. We are going back to our good old fashioned barrel pit down there. Get some dirt loaded up. Get some dirt up here for Aaron. And uh, yeah. Let's hammer down, let's do this, let's haul some dirt and back to the pool. Maybe he'll let us go swimming if we do a good job. That's a good incentive. All right, back down to the bar old pit getting set up. Matt's getting back into place here. I see, uh, I see a small issue. You guys see a small issue? There is still an AMI ruckus, right? Get it back and bump it up. We're gonna have to get out before we put dirt in it. We'll set that off the side and we'll get them loaded. All right, we will set this over here for now. You guys just cannot let me forget. It's down here. I need to set it somewhere where Aaron can get to it to hook up to the skid steer. Set it close enough we can see it that way. Hopefully, we don't forget it. I get the hook out of there. Oh, yeah, I got her. All right, back to loading there. All right, just about got that loaded with his first load here. Boy, loading this thing up the old 210. They come back to 120. That was pulling right there. 210 has moved into the next big lake job, waiting on us to get there after we get this done. We'll back there the old 120. It'll be fine. Trying to uh, still send up some decent dirt up there because we need to get that packed in around that pool again. And he's going to pour concrete on top of us. I don't want to send absolute junk dirt up there. And there's some good dirt here, but you got to work for it. up enough decent dirt to at least get up around the pool eventually once we get away from the pool we're just kind of conjuring i have to come back and grab some of this dirt it's not quite as good but we're going to send the good stuff as long as we can hey y'all
I'm gonna jump over and fix them ruts for him. Got a few loads head now, don't wanna be any harder on the truck than we have to. Alright, jumped over to the other side of the bar over bit here. I'm trying to kind of uh make Matt's exit out of here a little bit easier on the truck and honestly a little bit safer. And miraculously there's actually some pretty decent dirt here in this ramp, which I guess it shouldn't surprise me because it's been holding the truck up pretty good coming out of here. So kind of killing a couple birds with one stone here and one track hole or one bucket or however you want to say that. But this is the fourth load that's going to be going up the hill. I think we'll hop in with Matt on this one. We'll ride up the hill and see how little air is getting along. Set up. Right back, I got back a couple shiny new beers. Don't you be getting my beers dirty. Don't now. you be breaking my beers, Captain Cleveland. took the roller kind of rolled off our lift here a little bit it all looks pretty good got a couple of loads of rock delivered we're gonna go down through here and just kind of work a little bit of rock up next to there bring a little bit more dirt in just kind of keep building our way up through there as uh as we go so see what happens make sure you don't dump the rock in the pool yeah i don't want to do that that would be a good excuse to go swimming though Down with your bucket. Down with the bucket. Down with the bucket. Down with the bucket. Down with the bucket. No, 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 no. Down with the actual bucket. There you go. See if you can get one more and come straight in. We'll put it right here in this corner. Hi.
there, decided this was too tedious of a job, made him too nervous, so I switched him out. He's running the shovel. I'm in the skid steer. We're just kind of taking our time, taking it easy. It's going pretty well. I nailed that corner? Yep. I told him this job made you too nervous. You had to take the shovel. No, I seen you out there struggling with the shovel. Not to, to work I, rough on you want to switch? Hey, we don't want rock in the pool. Now. Yeah, I know. Just like like you did? Huh? No, there ain't no rock in there. There's at least three. I seen them. There's at least three. Up there went one. <laughs> now there's four. Am I good? Yeah, you got lower. All right, Aaron and I went around here, got that first lift to rock in, looks good. Matt's back, isn't there a little dirt? I think you can get her backed up in there. Woo! Soft spot still there. Go towards the driveway a little bit, there you go. I believe you made it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, let your bed down slowly. You did too good a job. You're almost too close to the pool for comfort. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're about uh, five foot closer than what I would have been. And now you're too uh, uneven to dump. Oh, dilemmas, dilemmas. Um, pull down and uh, can you scoot over? What if I get closer to you? Yeah. You can basically split them tracks, you'll be good. There you go. Come straight back now if you can. Straight back. Straighten her up. Straighten her up. Straighten her up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Straighten her up hard. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're uh, too far that way again. Oh, my last track. Oh, I'm one tire off. I got you. <laughs> this is a show in itself right here. Leonard, do you want to join the show? Back right there, correct? Yeah, if you come straight back, I think you'd be all right. Leonard says if you break the pool, you're not allowed to swim. No. Yes, fine. To me a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. You're still too far over that way. You want me to, uh, hold that thought. Let me, let me get the. All right, now cut it real hard. Cut it hard, 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 cut it hard. There you go. Straighten her up, straighten her up. Keep on coming. Pull back, whoa, hold that, hold that, whoa. Pull forward about three feet. Pull back out, work. Hey, uh, thanks for compacting all that in for us. All right, go easy, go easy, go easy, go easy, go easy. A little bit more, a little bit more. Yep, that looks, that looks good. Still got some, you still got some dirt in the bag. Keep going. If you want to start loading that next one, I'll uh, I'll get this leveled up so you can dump a little easier next time. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I got the tracks all the way up against the top set. All you want me just throw it all the way and keep tracking that field. Yeah, well, that looks like it's some pretty good dirt. Or I'll move top set. I'll move up and get another load. Uh, just get what you can there. I'll be down to help you in a minute. I haven't had to say it's raining. You know this is a per cow. You know, this is a perfect opportunity for. Is we can like put you in the pool and get a fan. And we got like the Weather Channel, like severe yeah. weather in Indiana. <laughs> it's a tornado. I can't believe it's raining. I ain't got my Jeep. 
<laughs> it's hard to complain though. We kind of need the rain. Yeah, and it's a warm rain. And Leonard's getting free water for his pool. Yeah, he's getting free water. We just I can't believe he ain't got his gutters diverted over here. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're gonna keep on going until we can't go no more. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna rain much, but we'll take what we can get. Yep. I think you can come back in here easy. I'll kind of guide you. Just kind of go slow. Matt's made it back with another logo. Try to get it dumped in here. We go towards the pond quite a bit. 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 Straighten her up. 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 Straight back. Straight back. Straight back. Straight back. Towards the garage. Towards the garage. Towards the garage. Straight back. Straight back. Don't straight back. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't. You're you're driving fast and you're turning. All right. Turn it. Turn back the other way. There you go. Now straight back. Now straighten her up a little bit, straighten her up a little bit. Straight back, straight back, straight back. Do me a little bit, do me a little bit, do me a little bit. Nothing, right there, whoa, whoa. You, you, you scared a little bit of rain out there? No, I was out. I was out in it the whole time. I was the cab on the uh, uh, well, but sure uh, uh, Yeah, the Kubota. The Kubota's got some issues. I think it's time for the Kubota to find a new home. That's a whole other video. You never did so. answer my question. How do you like running slow and steady like me? I'm not a big fan. Not a big fan. Not a big fan at all. <laughs> the Kubota can't keep up. So. <laughs> well, that, you know how to push a button on a radio. Yeah, that and somebody dumped the dirt in the wrong spot. Yeah, you can't hear anybody in a big old dump uh, truck, but there's a button right you really there that makes you your really radio. You can't hear it ever. You, didn't he forget his radio? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. See ya. Hey, Darren. We're going to uh, we're going to wait out the rain till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's not waiting it out. That's just stopping for a day. <laughs> so, we, we make good, we make good <laughs> progress, though. We're uh, we're far enough along you can feel the pool rest the way up and go swimming, Leonard. Yeah. Oh, hell, we've been swimming for days. <laughs> so, now you can, Without it being full, yeah, right? Now, now you can swim full depth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Catch you guys in the morning. Boys, it's a new day. It's a little tacky day. It is tacky. The uh, pool's got some water in it. I think we're ready for another round of uh, backfiller calling for some rain later. We got a couple hours to haul some dirt. What do you say? That's it. The question is, will the orange skid steer still be running at the end of the day? It's going to. It's going to be running. I'm glad you got faith in that thing. Faith in it. It's uh I told Leonard, I said if uh, if it quits on me, it may just become fish habitat. Because <laughs> <laughs> me, me oh, have me and the Kubota ever been friends? No, that's the problem. It's just been nice. Yeah. I've tried to talk nice to it. I've tried to massage on it. I've tried to take it easy. I've tried to ride it hard. Same result. Huh. Bunch of flashy lights and it's always mad at me. Hey, you went easy yesterday and did just fine. Going. It didn't do just fine. It was not happy you with just me. Just have a little patience. Two thirds. A patience. What's that? Patience. I'm not a doctor. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I wouldn't want you to be my doctor. <laughs> I can fix you right up. Oh, wait a minute. Is it stupid the one thing you can't fish? Hey, did you hear about the guy that evaporated? Oh, no. And you got the camera pointing at Matt? He'll be missed. <laughs> 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 There's a reason why this isn't a comedy channel. This is a dirt moving channel. <laughs> All right, and I guess we, uh, is what we say, like action or something, isn't it? Like everybody assumes their places, like skid yeah, steer, bubba dump. One of them little flippy things for me yet. The one that's got the little like railroad thing. And railroad. Railroad. Like a railroad crossing <laughs> thing. And, <laughs> well, it's, it's painted the same color, isn't it? You know, like your railroad crossings. You no, know, they're <laughs> white and red. I thought they're white and black. And they're like about the 20 foot long. You're talking about a 
Eight inside of I'm them. saying, the arm comes down. <laughs> why, are you, why are you doing this too? <laughs> you did a double, just a double waving? Well, that one finger just won't stay together. What do you got in that water? Oh, exactly, but hey, water. it's Friday. Right? Oh yeah, my goodness. Friday. The question is, you think Bubba Dumb's going to back up the slimy hill? Hey, when in doubt, throttle That's... out. That's all you got to do. Hold the button down and give her you know what. <laughs> He just can't go through that fish. Well, we don't need Bubba Dump to be fish habitat. <laughs> just the Kubota. All right. We're off. All right, guys. Back down here at tomorrow's pitch. Matt ended up finding some really good dirt right here in this corner yesterday. So we're going to get as much of this good stuff as we can. I don't know if you guys can see down here to my left, but I just started a timer. We timed the 210 on the last job. Took about 12 scoops. And right at three minutes to load. 42 inch bucket. I've only got the 36 inch bucket on the 120. We're going to see how long it takes to load with this one compared to the other one. Sometimes it's all, sometimes it's not about how fast, it's about how efficient you can be with fuel burn and everything else. So, like I said in the last video with the 210. 10 is definitely faster, but it also burns a whole lot more fuel doing it, so. Let's see where we're at time-wise on this one. First time, three minutes, 53 seconds. Let's go ahead and round up the four. Nice. There's no doubt that this machine is more profitable loading that truck than the 210 is. Because of that time. Because of that time. What was the time on the last job with the 210? It's almost exactly a minute difference. Now, a minute more for the 210. A minute less. A minute less for the 210. Now, the 210 had a nicer setup. I was swinging farther with this one, but that's my whole argument. This one burns less fuel and it cycles faster. It's not as efficient because it does take longer if you're moving mass yardages. Yeah, 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 yeah. The 210 would definitely out trump this Absolutely. thing. But on a small job like this, yeah. this 120 burns, it burns a third less fuel. The other machine burns two thirds more fuel. Well, not to mention, by the time I run all the way up there while the 210 just sitting there idling, yeah. waiting for me to get, if you had three trucks here, yeah. For as far as it is, the 210 will be a well, This goes back to my argument, a bigger excavator is not always better. Yeah. So, and I, you well, know. we still like the 210. Oh yeah, we still like the 210. <laughs> and it's still got its place, I don't want to say yeah. it don't. But if I had the 42 inch bucket on this, that's on the ball bone. Yeah. If I had you sitting down in a hole, where I was top loading you. Yeah. I, it's going to take more scoops, but I can put them on there faster. Yeah, you probably get that time down to three minutes. I don't know if I get it down three minutes even, but I can get them to where they're pretty damn comparable, burn a whole lot less fuel. I wondered why you were working so fast now. now. <laughs> All right, you think you can slide your way in there? It's gonna be interesting. All right, I'm gonna be big trouble. I forgot to record this, but this is first load coming up. And really, did not do too bad. Didn't sink, didn't spin. Again. 
I can just have to have him dig it out. It's stuck, it's stuck yep. Is it a bunch? Huh? Yeah, quite a bit. I'm afraid to try to back up like normal and hammer on the brakes and I'm gonna slide into that fence. Yeah, I know. That's why I'd just have him. It was starting to shake, but it ain't coming. Okay. So I'd say we'll do that. See if we can get out of here now. Alright. Oh boy, hit the fans. Now straighten up. I ain't got my radio. I ain't got my radio. Try to stay on that dirt. Try to stay on the dirt. It flattens out down here. Yeah, I'm trying to clip it at an angle instead of turning up the hill. Yeah. They don't want to take out more pants. Yeah. I would uh try that once. I put it first and look coming back out of that hole. <laughs> So one thing I found out, Bubba Dump don't like wet grass. Well, it's turned into an absolutely great Friday so far. Guys may or may not have seen. Matt slid down the hill and took out the fence. The skid steer's already quit running. And it's raining again. I'm not sure how much we're going to get accomplished today. We'll go until we can. All right. 
right, it has stopped raining for the time being. We're gonna try to hammer down, get a little bit of a uh, little bit of dirt hole. There's another round of rain coming, so. Full disclosure on that last load was kind of like this load. There's probably two or three scoops of dirt I could have got farther on the other side. So, even if we had 30 seconds to our time, call four and a half minutes. My uh, thoughts are still the same on this particular style of job. So, I think Aaron's got the skips there running for now, living alone. Let us uh, hammer out a few loads of dirt here and I'll check back in with you guys. Well, good news we got the skid steer kind of sort of running. Bad news, we've got an absolute toad strangler on our hands. Looks like we'll be back Monday. <laughs> <laughs>